So keyboard and mouse can seem tricky, but don't be overwhelmed by the options that you have in front of you. Times are good. There's lots of products that you can choose from. You gotta get yourself acquainted with the keyboard and mouse, the proper setup, a set of guidelines or rules to make things better for you so that you don't fail and you succeed. And again, you don't feel like this is climbing Mount Everest. You feel more like you're just turning on the computer and playing a video game and practicing something you love. Your muscle memory has to work harder if the mouse is heavier. The one thing I definitely recommend is do not get a clicky keyboard. They're just not that good for games. I highly suggest getting a tactile linear keyboard. The Steel Series Apex Pro. It is the best keyboard I've ever used. I have the TKL, which is the 10 keyless. It doesn't have the number pad at the end of the keyboard, giving you a lot more room to game with your mouse. It's gonna segue us right into our next point, which is you wanna be an arm player, not a wrist player. Now, a lot of people are gonna say everybody's different and they've got their own style of playing. However, high sensitivity is not the best way to go about this, especially if you're a beginner and you can learn the right way the first time around. There's a reason why pro players are playing on low sensitivity arm movement on keyboard and mouse because you can control your shots and your recoil and your accuracy so much more. It makes a huge difference. I highly recommend a lightweight mouse. Don't get caught up in that a lightweight mouse doesn't matter and it's some type of trend because it absolutely does matter. When you're doing things around the house or working your job, your brain is accustomed to how heavy your arms and hands are. The more weight you add to them, the more compensation your brain has to come up with when moving the mouse around. So when you're trying to get used to flick shots and only moving an inch and how much muscle it's going to take to move your arm, your muscle memory has to work harder if the mouse is heavier. I know this may sound crazy. The lighter the mouse, the easier it is for you to get used to this. So you might as well do it the right way the first time around and get a lightweight mouse. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below and I will make a buyer's guide to which keyboard and mouse is the absolute best. And we'll talk about the different brands and different different models of each keyboard and mouse and show you guys which ones are the best. So this is how I have my keyboard and mouse set up. Typically, this is my center axis of my body, my head and the monitor. This is dead center. And you want to leave yourself as much room as possible for the mouse. There are two ways to do this. One is a wrist player. Another is an arm player. The real benefit to playing on keyboard and mouse is with your arm. Most of your professional players, in any first person shooter, keyboard and mouse play with their arm on low sensitivity. For example, Tifu, Symphony, Huskers. These are just three examples. There's also one more, Tim the Tatman, that I can think of. So this is the center line right here. You want a TKL keyboard. I can't stress this enough. TKL means 10 keyless. There's no number keys over here. A regular full-size keyboard would come to here. So you bought yourself a whole bunch of extra room to bring the mouse over. And like I was saying to you guys, this is about center of where my mouse would be. I've got equal distance on right and left to move my mouse. There's a lot of room, but without getting into all the technical aspects of this, when you put your mouse in the center of your mouse pad, it doesn't matter where your mouse pad ends. So you want to set up your 180 degree turn with your mouse. The best way to do this is to set your mouse in the center. And I do recommend getting a really full-size mouse pad. This is a Gigantis. You want to do a 180 degree turn, meaning you're in Call of Duty, you're in Apex, whatever game you're playing, you're looking straight forward and you do a 180 degree turn and look behind you and you want your mouse to come to about here. It's going to be using about 80% of your room. Let's say you do a 180 degree turn, but you're back here. Sensitivity is too high. You do a 180 degree turn and you're over here. Sensitivity is too low. Go back to the center, work your way this way, and you want it to be right about here here when you make your full turn. There's a couple of fundamentals that you need to understand about mouse. If you're turning around, you're not just holding the joystick. It's not doing it for you. If you want to continue to turn, you have to pace your arm speed and get used to moving your arm at a constant speed. When you run out of room, you got to pick it up, bring your mouse back over really fast and keep moving like this. You have to get used to those kinds of movements. The thing is with a controller, if you want to have high sensitivity, you can flick pretty quick, but then you have to have longer thumbsticks and aiming is going to suffer. When you're pulling down for recoil, you might be pulling down a little bit like this and you can move your arm slow any direction you want. But if you want to go fast, you move like this. One of the advantages for me over controller is that on a controller, if you have high sensitivity, aiming is going to suffer even with like a scuff or something like that. At 2020, it's still going to be tough. You know, you're aiming and you you do a flick shot like this. I don't have the ability to do that. One of the hard parts about doing this is gonna be for you to learn how to sync up your left hand from your right hand. You're gonna be having your fingers moving around and your other arm is gonna be going crazy. You gotta learn to sync that by moving your arm to the right, quickly running forward, moving your arm 
to the left and you're syncing that with your WASD keys. And that's gonna be a little bit tricky. It's gonna get easier. There's a couple of tactics that you can run to practice in. One of them is just your standard movement. So in order to do this the right way, as I'm running, you're just kind of guiding yourself around with your mouse. You're just gonna hold forward and just keep turning and practice not running into any walls. You do not wanna run into a wall, otherwise that means you fail. If you run out of room like I'm about to right here, you just quickly pull over like that. You see, I relocate my mouse. See how I'm not touching any surface? See how I'm doing this? And for you, I know it will be very difficult at first, but this is a practice. Go to shipment, probably. It's one of the best maps to do it. Unless, of course, you're playing Apex or Fortnite. You can do it pretty much on any map anywhere, as long as there's no enemies shooting you. You need to be able to do this. The next thing to do would be sliding in Call of Duty. So you want to slide. It depends on what button you have. I have C. Slide. And then look. Slide. Come around a corner. ADS with your mouse. The next thing to practice is off-axis aiming kind of like parallax type stuff. Next, we're gonna practice our strafing. The basic one does not involve the mouse. You're just gonna ADS, and you're gonna go left to right. And you're gonna practice this for a little while too. We're gonna go ahead and do a parallax, which is gonna be aiming dead center. No matter how much we strafe, we're gonna adjust the mouse to make sure we're shooting the same target. So we start in the middle. We go right, go left. You're moving your mouse just to the left and just to the right. Pay attention to my hands. Fast hands online. All righty, guys. The next step is recoil. On a controller, you're just pulling down with your thumb and it's continually pulling the recoil down. On a mouse, you have to continually move it down completely different than a controller. We're gonna aim right in front of us, and if I don't pull down on the mouse at all, this is what happens. It starts to go up, you see that? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently and slowly start pulling down, and as you get used to it, you'll get used to the speed in which you need to pull down, depending on the gun. Now, if we go look, that is the difference. This is why sensitivity is crucial. So right here is gonna be lower sensitivity. So here we go, 400 DPI. Okay, we'll go 800 DPI on the next one. Sixteen hundred on the next one. Yeah, I see the difference. The more sensitivity, the less room you have for movement versus low sensitivity, more movement, less input. This way you got more forgiveness for your mind and your arm for muscle memory. That's the difference in accuracy right there. Next step is basic movement and sliding. Run forward, hit your C key or whatever your slide button is and move your mouse to do a 180. Run forward, slide, turn around and keep doing this just left. like I'm doing it right now. Just keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. This basically synchronizes your left and your right arm to work together. Slide, turn. The next is a little more advanced. You wanna slide into a 90 degree turn around a corner. Just like this, run, slide, turn, ADS. Run, slide, turn, ADS. And when you get it down, it'll be sort of like this. You'll speed up and you'll get better. It's another one to practice. The next one is even more advanced, and I can promise you this is where things start to get interesting. The next exercise to practice is the jump. You wanna run, jump, and as you're jumping, turn immediately like this, and ADS. You wanna initiate the turn before the jump. So you're running, and just as you're going to press jump, you're turning and then jumping like this. Next exercise is to add the bunny jump. Once you turn to the right, throw your body sideways, ADS around the corner, you wanna whip it with enough momentum and keep rapidly pressing the space bar. Which gives that little extra bunny hop and keeps you moving. So you're not like just getting shot and dying. Now granted, it can be difficult while you're also landing shots, but you'll get used to it, I promise. All right guys, next the drop shot. You got an enemy right here. 
You want to drop shot them. You'll never see it coming, but you don't want to overshoot or dolphin dive. In order to drop shot without dolphin diving, you have to stop pressing your W key. You got to let off of it. So you're going to run up, let off, and drop shot. Just like that in ADS. So we're going to run back, drop shot. And the exact order of keys to press is your W key, let off, turn, hit the F button to drop, and then aim down sights. The next exercise is the dolphin dive into a drop shot. All right, so there's the enemy marker right there. You want to initiate your dolphin dive in this area. right about there. Got movement. There we go. We're going to run up and turn. Shoot. While you're running forward, hold your W key. Go forward, hit F, and then turn and start shooting. But then you'll get used to it like this. And here's a smooth one. See how I turn gradually? The next exercise is a little bit more difficult. It's a dolphin dive into a 180 beyond and past the enemy to catch him coming around a corner. That is where the enemy is going to be. But this time, you're going to end up over yeah. here. So when he comes around the corner, you kill him. You want to make sure to dolphin dive initiate right about here. These are our markers. Ready? He comes around the corner. Run. Dolphin dive. The next thing, I don't even know what it would be called. You run up, go around the corner. You let off your ADS, quickly turn and run and jump and do it again. So you go like this. 10 seconds. You got to practice doing this over and over again. So if someone comes around this corner and they're shooting and you go, oh no, I'm going to run this way and turn around. You're in a straight line, which is easier to hit. So when you run and jump and go to turn around, you're going to hit your A or your D key. So as you're jumping and turning around, you're strafing to the left or the right in mid air. I run in a straight line to here. Moving here. See, it ended up in a straight line. Oh, Enemy right short. there. It's you're right line. here. See? So as he's coming in, I jump this way and strafe this way. So as he's turning around to shoot me here, I'm also moving in a square box pattern, which makes it really hard for them to hit you. I do this, turn around. All he's doing is shooting to the right. As you can see, he's right here. He's just tracking you, tracking you, tracking you, and there you are. So a guy's coming in to shoot you, you're shooting someone else. It makes it really hard. He's tracking you from here, but now you end up over here. So he's gonna be like, that's it. Now he's got to come in. He has no choice. Step one. Step two. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like, comment below. If you guys want to see another video on more advanced movements and how to get even better on keyboard and mouse and this video work for you, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell. Be sure to give me a like and comment below what you guys think. And follow me over on Twitch and Facebook for all the live streams. Take care of yourselves. Have a blessed day. We'll see you. I'm out of here. Deuces.